Now, I request our respected executive director, Dr. Sandhya Pentaredi, to edify us on how to have positive attitude to reach success. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. OK, don't sleep off yet. It's just the beginning of the day. Yes? Uh, it's so wonderful uh, to see you all, and uh, congratulations for joining VIT. Uh, but the journey continues. It's not the end of the road, right? You're somewhere actually close to the beginning of the road. So there's a lot that is happening on VIT. You heard uh, ProVC and uh, VP talk about various things on campus. So how do we juggle all that? How do we uh, make a success out of ourselves? I'm just going to give you a few tips from watching the experience on the VIT campus. Humans are curious beings by nature, yes? We want to understand everything. We want to explore everything. We want to discover. We want to meddle with things. Yes, we want to do all that. Have you watched little kids, how, little toddlers or two-year-olds, how happy they are when they learn to take that first step, when they learn to speak and say something really cute? Yes, you, it's not just you who's watching them, who's happy, but you should, next time, you look at the spark in their face. We were all born that way, and the system did something to us, right? Now we think of learning and duty, work, all these things as a burden. We have to look deep into ourselves and bring back that joy. Why should learning be a burden? Why should a job be a burden? These are things that we ought to enjoy, and I think there's an attitude adjustment that we need to make in ourselves. So the first step to making your life successful at VIT is to enjoy learning. The fabric of VIT is built on the principle of continuous learning. It's not true that you learn, then you do your job and retire and die. We only die when we stop learning. And while you're doing a job, you have to be learning continuously. And this is so much true of knowledge workers like engineers and doctors. If you don't learn continuously on your job, somebody else will replace you. So in the same spirit, we believe in continuous learning on campus too. You don't eat one big fat meal at the end of the year, do you? You eat thrice a day, yes? It's similar to that. You, you eat a little bit, you get the energy, and so on. Same way you study a little bit, then you absorb, you think, you develop that critical thinking. So to accommodate that, we have continuous assessment as well. So my tip to you, the second biggest tip is Constantly study. Don't try to put all that study work till the um, end of the semester or close to the exams. Study a bit every day. And don't choose the shortest path always. Choose always choose the right path. So respect, integrity, honest are key to VIT life. Every individual um, is expected to get respect and give respect. Knowledge grows when you share it, and this is, this is very much true, and ours is a knowledge field, so you want to really pay attention to that. Um, if you cut and paste, that's copying. But if you contribute, if you help your friends, and if you get their help, and you discuss, you put in your you know, you contribute your thinking and you make things better, that's teamwork. So we want to see teamwork from you. Now, if it's an individual exam, I don't want teamwork there. But the point is, throughout your learning, you want to be collaborating and contributing and not copying blindly. If you copy, who are you cheating? Yes, you know the answer, and I want to hear it. Who are you cheating if you copy? Yes, you're, you're cheating yourselves. And you really don't get away with it also, because at the end of it all, if you're attending an interview, 
you're not going to pass that, right? Because you don't have the knowledge to back up your marks. Focus on development. There are a lot of um, things happening. There are um, studies, there are co-curricular, there are extracurricular. Everything is good as long as it is positive. But there are other kinds of temptations. Don't give in to those kind of temptations. Enjoy your friendships, talk to your friends, all that is good, but don't while away your time. Don't be wasteful. Put the resources to good use. And what is the most precious resource? Yes, time is the most precious resource. So manage your time wisely. And anything that you can do today, do it. Because tomorrow is another day, and tomorrow brings its own work issues and problems to be solved. It's an exciting day, but you have to do what you can today. Okay. Positive environment is what we take pride in, right? And how does an environment become positive? It's because all of us, all of us, if we have to credit anybody or blame anybody, it is ourselves for our campus. So respect all, respect your surroundings, keep it clean, keep it green, leave some of the habits behind. So show that you're a socially responsible person in every walk of your life. Small things you can do that show courtesy to others. An elevator stops and there are three people trying to get out. Why are you in a hurry to get in? And if you get in, you're making the situation worse. Let them out first and then get in. Same with the bus. And when you wash your hands, are you closing the tap? And try not to spill water all over the place, right? And if you find a leaky tap, report it to people who can fix it. Things such as that. And, you know, be the kind of person you want others to be towards you. And leave it a bit cleaner than you found it. You use a restroom. Don't make it dirty. If at all possible, make it cleaner. Do not indulge in harmful behaviors. This university is a tolerant university, but we have zero tolerance. I repeat, zero toler tolerance to drugs, alcohol, and smoking. Absolutely, absolutely no smoking, no drugs, and no alcohol on campus, please. And I'm warning the students, and I'm informing the parents, if we find any such abuse of substances, we will dismiss your students, I mean kids, and uh, we will dismiss the students. So at that time, do not come pleading with us. Please excuse the kid, this and that, you know. So students, don't put your parents in that situation. So the best thing is to stay away from those things and avoid it. If you want to, wait until you're 25, because then you'll no longer be our problem. Okay, and absolutely no to bullying, ragging, and eve teasing. These are things that we cannot tolerate. And, um, and yes, we speak to your seniors too about it. Okay, now, uh, a lot of our life is online these days, and I want you to be careful. Now, there are people who post every little update online. I'm here, I'm taking a cup of coffee, I'm going to visit this place at uh, 8.15 p.m. or whatnot, right? So just think about your own safety. Just post what is needed, not every little detail about yourself. You're exposing yourself to a lot of unwanted elements in the society. So I just want to warn you, you can actually uh, search on the subject, get more information, and protect yourself. How do you, you know, you can use privacy settings, for instance, and there are a lot of other things you can do to protect your life online. And be careful about the info you're sharing. Uh, there are some, pe uh, some people who foolishly post a lot of images about themselves, right? Just think about what you're posting. Um, a simpler solution is don't have a life online, right? No, that's not, that's not a solution at all. Because, you know, the, the digital media is one way you contribute to the society and to each other. And that is one way you learn. I'm not talking about social media. I'm talking about internet, the resources that are available on the web and so on. So that is really not an option. And 
your online persona, you should develop an online footprint, you should have an online persona, but it has to be positive, just like how when I'm standing here, I want my personality to reflect in what I'm doing and what I'm saying. Similarly, when I go online, I'm a responsible person there too. And please note that your online personas are being watched by employers, universities, and even visa authorities. The latest thing is US um, consulate is asking for your social media handles. Now, if you give or if you don't, they're still going to search. They're still going to search for what you're doing. And this is not just about US authorities. Our placement team will tell you that employers are constantly looking at your digital uh, footprint. Why? It is not just to see what kind of person you are. Yes, of course, if you're trashing something, you know, something unreasonably, they will think, oh my god, this person might trash our company too, and they might not like you for it. But that's not the only reason. The real reason they're looking at is, is this person learning online? Is this person contributing something? They look at, you know, there's a lot of developer networks, right? For, um, you know, so are you looking at those networks? Are you, are you contributing something? Maybe they may, there may be a problem that's posted online. Are you taking up that challenge, and are you trying to solve it? Those are the kind of things that they look for. Be ethical. Now, I just said, don't bully, don't drag, don't be that person that hurts others, right? That applies to your life online, too, not just in uh, you know, the physical world. So, and don't misuse anonymity. You know, just because you're anonymous doesn't mean that uh, people don't find you. But, you know, it, it doesn't matter. You're not going to break into someone's house and enter it because you can. Would you do that? Would you break a lock and enter someone's house and steal? Then why, why hack a website just because you can? Don't take pride in such things. If you find a loophole, intimate that company or institution that there is this loophole, and they'll thank you for it. But if you break in, it's like breaking and entering a home, and that's not OK. Um, shortly, behave online as you would behave in person. Okay. Keep a positive attitude. It's a quiet group, I see, you know. It's a, it's a very quiet group today. But please stay positive, and then everything will go smoothly. All right. So um, I think ProVC, sir, talked to all of you and said, we will take care of your kids. Yes? We will. But that said, we cannot replace your affection, your love, your authority, and your prerogative. So we want you to be involved in students' lives. If you're not involved in your kids' lives, even, even when they put up walls, um, you know, you, you're not going to aid their development. Um, so teenagers are very well known for it. You all put up real walls, right? You don't talk to your parents sometimes. Yes. So please stay involved. Call them often. You know, students are expected to also return their calls. Keep track of their performance, not only their performance, but what is happening in their lives. Who are they friendly with? What kind of influences are they under, and so on. And motivate. You, you know your, the strengths and weaknesses of your kid more than anybody else. Motivate them. Encourage and facilitate. And also realize that everybody has a different level of ability. So, you know, you want your kids to be better versions of themselves. But don't always, uh, you, know, you know, whatever goals you're setting for them, please be realistic based on their capability. We have um, proctors. I don't know if anybody has spoken to you about, but every um, student in this university has a proctor teacher. And this proctor will um, help, you know, uh, help the student facilitate their growth, etc. When parents partner with such proctors and teachers, it works out very well. Okay. And uh, we have a health center, as you already know, on campus. We have proctors. We've got hostel wardens. 
And we also have counselors on campus. And uh, the counselor, counseling division is headed by Dr. Rita Bhattacharji. You can contact her at 720 Technology Tower or her email ID, you can see. Um, and uh, in addition to the counselors on campus, we also have an online camp campus, account, I mean, uh, online counseling service, and it's called yourdose.com. If you have a problem that you're dealing with and you want to talk to somebody, talk to your friends, talk to your teachers, talk to your parents, anybody, but don't leave it unsolved. And if you have a problem that you want to discuss with somebody outside of you know, your support system, the counselors are always there. And you can go online also. And online, when you go, that is anonymous. So if you want that you know, comfort, you can seek online counseling. And no problem is too big or too small for us. Usually, generally, students think, well, this, this looks like a big problem, but I don't want to go to them because they'll think that it's a silly problem. No, we don't. We take your issue seriously, and we provide help. So please do not hesitate uh, to reach out to any of these uh, people. So finally, when parents and teachers collaborate with each other, it results in, come on. OK, thank you so much. <laughs>